I received this module from IC Station to evaluate and test. What this is, is it's a six channel, eight amp, five volt buck converter. So it'll take a DC input of eight to 40 volts and give you eight amps at five volts. The module features two input sources. So you can tie it down with either the two screw terminals, positive and negative, or feed it with a center tip positive coaxial jack and it features six parallel driven USB outputs which can power up to eight amps. Now you can put eight amps through one port or you can a combination but it has over current shutdown if you exceed eight amps. What I'm going to do on this video is I'm going to load this thing down and basically see if I can break it and uh, I'll show you what I've got coming up here but we're going to put a bunch of resistors and light bulbs and all kinds of stuff on here just to see if I can make this thing turn into a voltage to smoke converter. So let's get started. Okay what I've done here is I've got several things connected in parallel. I've got my low ohms resistors, a 1 ohm resistor here, a 1.8 ohm resistor, whatever the heck this thing came down to, and a 50 watt halogen lamp all in parallel. Now I'm probably going to exceed the current handling capability of this wire but I'm definitely going to be drawing probably pretty close to the limit of this thing. Let's just check this out. This is in the 10 amp mode and we are drawing 5 amps and this wire is getting quite warm already. Oh, one of my wires fell off here and one of the current dropped. Let's just reconnect this one. There, now we're drawing 6.8 amps. It's almost 7 amps. There we got 7 amps going. And this thing's putting out. We're drawing 3.6 amps from the power supply. 1.8. Oh no, this is a 1 ohm resistor. This is a 1.8. This is a 1 ohm resistor. And uh, I forget what this one was because I can't read the values anymore. I think it was. Uh, I think they were 1.2s, 3 1.2, well actually half, so 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, that would be 1.8. So I got a 1.8 resistor, a 1 ohm resistor, a 1.8 resistor, and this light bulb here, and uh, we're drawing, we're pushing it almost to 7 amps here. And I'm waiting for this wire to short out, if I'm not careful that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to melt the insulation here on these wires in and it's going to short. And if I do short it, what's going to happen here is it's going to shut down. And now the power supply shut down. If I remove the short, it'll turn back on. Uh, wires are melting here. Time to shut this down. Uh, I think that uh, pretty much shows that this unit here is going to put out the rated power. You can probably see some smoke coming off the wires here. That, I had these wires toasty warm. As you can see, it even fused, it even soldered the wires, it even melted the solder. Look at this, I melted the solder on this wire. I had it hot enough. But if you have a short, if you short your wires, short your circuit out, it should shut down. I think I, I think I burned out my, I think I have burned out this wire. So it looks, it looks like I did manage to break something because when I plug into port number one, I now have a dead port. I overloaded this thing to the point where I actually heated the spring contacts up inside the, uh, the jack in the, in the USB plug here. I don't think they're designed to handle 8 amps and I was drawing 7 and then I went and shorted the leads together to show it shutting down and I kind of burned up the contacts that were in here because if I go to one of the other ones as you can see everything works. Our light lights up and we've got our 7 amps again. These are all wired in parallel so I just burned out I just burned out one of the, the, the actual plugs so now I have a module that has five working USB, not six. But that's pretty, that's pretty amazing that 
you're able to draw that kind of current because they're all driven in parallel with each other right so we can draw full power on this thing except for this one port and when I plug it in it's loose and if we look at the uh, if we look down here I don't know if you can see it on camera or not but uh, you might be able to see it if I zoom the camera in a bit the power connector pins are the ones on the outside and they've basically melted into the uh, into the base because I had it I had it hot I had it really hot running there full power so keep that in mind you, you don't want to draw eight amps from one port but it certainly can put out that kind of power because as you'll see here here's your buck converter and as you can see all the ports are just driven in parallel with each other just one power supply one eight amp buck converter for five volts and your power plugs are all driven in parallel so any combination up to eight amps on them including from one port if your device will draw that and uh, I wouldn't recommend running it that kind of power because you could overheat the plug the USB ports themselves are not designed for eight amps but this module will put that out if you need it link to this is in the description I gain not much to talk about on this video. It's an it's a power inverter, right? It's a DC to DC converter, a buck design. You can see the the chip here, and it comes in a nice little plexiglass case to protect it. It's open on the side. Something like this you'd want to mount somewhere, right? So that you're not going to get metal filings or anything here to short it out. You'd want to mount it in a case or mount it where it's going to be kind of semi-protected. Hey, it's uh, what six bucks? Something like that for six bucks. Eight or six outputs, eight amps. I don't think you can go wrong with that for a basic DC to DC converter. Be great for like a solar uh, charged battery, for example. If you have a solar or a charger and you're charging a gel cell, you could charge up all your devices from it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one real soon.